Hey guys, really excited to share this opportunity with you. We just got a 25 cabin community slash wedding venue under contract in Canyon Lake, Texas. Now we absolutely love this opportunity because of the location. Our team's identified as Texas Hill Country as a great location for short-term rentals and hotels for some time now. And this is located in Canyon Lake. Now Canyon Lake is situated smack dab in the middle between two of the largest and fastest growing cities in the US, that's San Antonio and Austin. And Fredericksburg is pretty nice too. It's just northeast of, or northwest of uh, Canyon Lake. So the reason why we like this is because the property is severely underperforming and we can do a lot of simple things just to boost revenue. So the cabins itself, number one, just doing this one thing will boost revenue tremendously is by listing it on Airbnb. Now, the place does have a website and actually the website is now is actually pretty nice it's just there's no book now button and we're a country of instant gratification like we want to be able to see whether a property is available we don't want to call so the phone the they have a phone number on the side of the road that hopefully people stop by there's an office where people can walk in and book um, but the phone number on the side of the road and then the website itself um, there's no book now so people actually have to call which is a pain in the butt so i think just listing it on our airbnb will boost revenue tremendously um, uh, number two, the cabins itself, they're not uh, designed uh, to our standards. What we want to do is go in there and put like high level finishing touches. And I think it will attract a certain clientele and boost revenue tremendously, right? Uh, the wedding venue itself is actually really nice like when you first drive up there's string lights trees um there's these really cool chairs that the owners put in um looks pretty cool and it has like this peekaboo view of the lake so i understand why people uh book it and the venue itself the wedding reception area itself has really nice bones the ceilings are nice and it seats about 160 180 people so i think that area is really nice and it doesn't need much work at all um, there, there are a few touches but the opportunity is in the booking so right now they're booking it friday saturday and sunday what we want to do is have daily wins right and have daily events like quinceaneras um, um, family reunions corporate events uh, weddings um, or if someone wants to have a cheaper wedding like maybe on the weekday we want to do that and so there's some missed opportunity for revenue there um, but yeah we'll upload a, a video um, it's, I'm going to try not to edit it. If anything, I'm going to speed it up so that way you guys get through it. Um, and hopefully you see the opportunity that I see. I mean, to me, it was clear as day when I saw it. Um, if you're interested in it, in the opportunity, just visit our website, www.thewelcomefund.com. And I'll share a link in the description below. So here goes. Okay. Why wouldn't they put it on the website? That's crazy. This is a good feature. Ruby, will we need to upgrade this setup? So there's lights, string lights all up over here. This is the wedding venue right here. Um, an area over here could be developed to something. And this is the main venue area right here. <laughs> okay, so this is the event hall. It's obviously not set up. You don't have anything That's okay. coming up. So, no. uh, real cool thing is if you've seen some pictures, they actually brought. They have other tables and chairs, which you'll see in a moment. My favorite is those tables and chairs. We have been brought inside and done up, and it looks really cool in here. How much does it sit? Like on a, oh, with a dance floor and tables? How much are you doing with it? Great. So maximum. Was that 190 people? Okay. Oops. 
So right off the get-go, you're in a new uh, unrestricted area. You're outside of UTJ. Uh, the insurance company told her she could put 300 people. 300 people? Uh, so um, obviously she's had weddings with 180 people. Uh, she can show you the tables. You can describe your table. Do you have more people joining? I have one more person, but it's my, my uh, She's good. Yeah, she's my logistics one that helps me. Yeah, she could. Yeah. Nice. And she just left the property right now, so. Okay. Oh. We'll wait till she comes in and can straighten the tables and stuff. Yeah, these are some of the chairs and tables that they use. This is the storage area? One of, this, one this one. This one is one very one small. Storage. This is, yeah. That actually, that back door continues. We won't go to that door, but you'll see it on the other side. Oh, yeah. That's like, that, that's where like, all the wedding supplies and stuff for it. How many chairs um, do you, and I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to be like your numbers, girl. I'm sorry. No, I'll say you're I'm trying to figure out. Right. Like, uh, how many so chairs? there's 150 of these. Okay. And then we have an upgrade chair that we have 150 of. Those 150 chairs. chairs. What style are those? The, the, uh, the white resin. The, the white resin? Country, country club chairs. Okay, got yeah. it. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. And I've got one in the back. And then you've got the round tables. the round tables? tables. Got it. Right, got the rounds. Um, I have squares. 11 six foot, um, two eight foot, and then the four eight foot. Sorry. So. You've been here already, Blake? I have. Oh, you have? Yeah, we have um, a summer property right, right, right down there from here also. Okay, yeah. 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 right from. From D, I think. I yeah, think, yeah, yeah okay. probably. We'll go to the kitchen. Uh, you have a kitchen area over here, which will be turned into a commercial kitchen. Kitchen area? Mm -hmm. So we added one. We got here where the dark. Oh, you added this so part. Have, yeah. And, right. So, so to help with that, this would be a good um, walk-in um, fridge. Walk-in fridge right here. <laughs> It'd be easy to. How it's difficult? Like a really cool menu. So the walk-ins actually release the caterers and the cake people, so then they can actually Just move and bring stuff in. Oh, okay. Um, mm -hmm. How much would? I mean, is it, that a pretty easy? It budget? is because you only need a just a walk, a small walk-in, which would be half of this. You don't need bigger than that. You don't have to build it. You just no. slide them in. You just, just buy them. Buy it and okay. Wire it. Later. Okay. Cool. We had one in that brewery. Would you even upgrade this ruby or just for lips or this is pretty much just mechanical for people to use? So the only problem I see is this is a combined of your bartending and then your catering side of it. Mm. We have to figure out how it can be your catering section and then your actual bartending. Because that little window is too small for your bartending. Mm -hmm. Unless we convert something else. Do you close anyone's patio potentially? Maybe. If you want to do yeah. that, that, it's that, like that. The only issue is the bartending mix with the catering. Because a lot of the caterers now, they actually prefer a long steel table in the middle. Oh. Because then they have their little heaters. Okay. So with here, not um, enough space. That, the heaters don't fit. Yeah. No, okay. And it doesn't, I mean, we're, we're not able to build more. I mean, that's, yeah, you don't want to take away I space mean, from yeah. there. I would just, what if, you, the space. what if you took this out and made it like a yeah. steel table? Because honestly, if I would do a walk in right here, walk in, and then this goes out. Long steel table. Just one long steel table. Right? Okay. And then. Open that window up further, not the side tiny one, for the bartending service. So there's a the catering space on the top part? Yes, exactly. And the, the space is big enough for it. Okay. Yeah, because these are just like, these aren't. Yeah, this one. You just don't want the people outside see the inside. Right. Oh, so just maybe, okay, yeah. close this. Yeah. But you could do that with like a bar one, right? right? Yes, one of those little sliding doors. <laughs> Very easily. Maybe match the look. Okay. Yeah. Match the look out here. Back storage area. Bathrooms. Uh, real quick, just uh, the water is Canyon Lake water, so you're not unwell. You do have two septic systems, one on each tract of property, 
Um, this is the add-on. This is the continuation of that add-on you saw over there. Okay. Uh, this is actually better. This is her add-ons right here. Some of these items are included with the wedding. Uh, as you go further down, those are add-ons. And you had a question about the chairs. Mm -hmm. She'll explain that to you here in a second. That's that half door we saw. And then all of that comes with it? And there's, there's more. Okay, there's more. Okay. Yes, and it does. And actually, there's a tool shed in the back you'll see. That's the half door we saw oh, when you were in that other okay. room over there. So okay. this is all an add-on. Oh, there's a half door there. I don't know. You have it. What's included and what's the add-ons and those are the chairs. Yes. Okay. I'll give you the tour. Uh, so the first four shelving units are free to borrow. So any of that. Um, I try to keep the things I use the most, like boxes, signs, bases, uh, mason jars, anything that nobody wants to own 50 of, actually. Um, so, um, so that everything else, for the most part, I'm gonna have a little decor, obviously sprinkled through, but pretty much everything else, all the linens, our rentals, uh, the charger plates, the napkins, any of the runners and sashes, the barrels, uh, the sweetheart table. We have three different backdrops. You saw one mm -hmm. sitting out there on the stage. Mm -hmm. Have that one as well, and then uh -huh. there's another one in the other storage, which we'll see Okay, uh, over there. So you have pretty much, other than the little flowers in there, but okay. uh, all of that, um, that's, you saw the, the chair, Yes, is the um, upgrade Okay, on that one. Um, this is the upgraded chair right here? Yes, sir. So they pay a little bit more for that. So what I'm usually, happens is they either pick this combo, because you get the chair cover and this for $2, or you get this for $2.50. Uh, so, um, and because oh, this is the other chair, this is correct. Yeah, mm. so, you know, make it nicer for pictures and stuff. Um, we have a pretty wide selection of colors. Obviously, I don't have every color right in the rainbow, but um, we do have a lot of those colors. And I try to watch what trends are burgundy, navy, all of that's really hot. When we first bought the place, we're lap everywhere. Mm -hmm. All the time. What was it? Burlap. Yeah, when we bought it, when we got here, because there was already stuff on the books, you know, obviously. Um, so we. So all these signs, did they rent these signs, or this just comes just with? Just that one. The the please sit wherever is that one's a freebie, but the it, that is supposed to go with that. With that oh, I see. She was at that. Yeah, it was always you goes with that. Okay. Um, it doesn't always wind up behind the sweetheart table, but mm -hmm. a lot of the time it does. So yes, but there is more. Yes, the barrels. Um, hmm. I'm trying to think what else. Some of those just extra candles. Oops, you're okay. Did I break it? I'm not trying to break nothing. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Pretty cool decor. I mean, yeah. Barbecue, huh? First uh, weekend, wedding, everything. So yeah, these are the yeah, so all four of these are eight footers. Um eight footers. Many had these and they were they were a hot commodity. Yeah, they were uh, and frequently popular of them. Um I wish I had bought more than you guys got over in comfort actually. But yeah, they are they are hot area connect for salt water pool not heated chain link fence and then the cabins go around here so let's go inside one of the cabins this is number 18 it's close to the bride oh okay like you don't know me. I'm asking. Uh, so they all have the same layout. They're all going to have a living room kitchen. Three pieces. Three pieces. Yes, I'm um, This one, only one bed, because obviously you just put a couple. Oh, they're still didn't care, so they're watching. Yeah. Oh, there's. Lauren has all tile. Um, the other ones, which we can take a look at 19. Uh, the other ones have a second bed. And they also have different uh, living room furniture. What would you do with the this ruby? Is the, this is the well, I have ideas. Yeah, but it just costs money. Yeah. Oh, you would fix it up? 
Um, you would I don't. I don't ever do that, right? <laughs> okay. Would you have just one for? Honeyman? Yeah. Um, just for them to get ready. You, you know what I mean. You would have to have a bridal and a groom room. Right. Yeah. And then you would have to have, of course, your honeymoon. Because uh-huh. then if you're doing your 24 hours, oh. those two first rooms, they get used in the beginning. Then the logistics crew comes in, gets uh-huh. ready for the next day for the next crew. Okay. And then this one is going to use the night, so when everybody checks out, it, it just goes in a full circle. Okay. Yeah, but logistically you would need honeymoon, bridal, and groom. Okay. And then so maybe never rent those out on, you know, that's specifically for the right. venue. Yes, okay. those are not listed. Those so, were included. So put bridal in and groom. Oh, okay. Bridal, bridal and groom, they use during the day to get ready and whatever. Right. Right. But then no one sleeps in them. Exactly. You just go to the honeymoon suite, they sleep there. Mm-hmm. While these get re- reworked, they check out. Yeah. Yeah. People come in and repeat rooms. Yeah. This is their get ready table. Like, this is kind of rough. Yeah. Right. You don't. It's really fun hanging area for. Yeah. Yeah. Pictures and stuff. Mm-hmm. Just me. They say that there's two, five of these medium rooms. It's more than I believe of the mediums, but well, no, there's there, there, there's. So, 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 so in the so bridal, yeah, yeah. that's what they said. The most important thing is to have a bath, not a shower, because you don't, you don't want to come in shower. Yeah. And then tons of mirrors. Yes. Because when you make a bath, there's multiple there. people are getting ready, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You got about eight girls getting ready in there, mm-hmm. and then that's when that's the mirror comes in. Mm-hmm. They got four mirrors here. Yeah. Maybe like with LED lights. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, you could pretty much just. Oh, you think oh, like middle enough or no? Mini splits for the mini splits for Texas. Okay. Yeah, my other tiny house. It's not strong enough. Mm-hmm. My tiny house I had upgraded this past summer to two mini splits. Okay. One in the room and one in the front area, um, and they're doing really, really good. Yeah, keeps that house really cool. I'm sure you'd get complaints about it. And I'm, oh, it's yeah. hot. And no, it's it's more like when they don't know how to function, even on a QR code. Okay. This is better, th- better than mine. <laughs> I was at Circus Circus. <laughs> um, but the cool thing is it's pretty small. I, I don't think it's going to cost that much money to really renovate everything. I mean, this is probably, what, 300 square feet? The most? It's more than that. For this whole thing? Oh. Maybe about 450. So to renovate a 450 square foot space for something that's that important is to deck it out. Because then we would tack in the bridal suite, mm-hmm. the rooms, and the honeymoon suite. Right. To your oh, I see. So then you would get more. I like how you think. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Hello. She's the one that makes everything. Oh, okay. She's the one that tells me this is how long it's going to take to do this, uh-huh. and so forth. You would still need this area and just renovate it. Yeah, just right over here. Yeah. They just need lots of, um, because they do curlers and hair dryers. You just need a long... Would you, would you just get rid of this? Okay. I don't know, so... <laughs> Bathroom is good. This is fine? Yeah. Oh, wait, I'll pop that some bathroom. So this no, that's a shower. When you go into other units, you actually okay. see this. No. Okay. That's the rest of the units. This one's different than the rest. Sure. And then the one like is... Saying, just a, like this is the bridal one, correct? Right? Correct. Right? Yeah. And, there, and there also is a groom and honeymoon, or just groom? So, good question. Yeah. Um, the deluxe package comes with a groom's suite as well. But if they just get the classic package, it does not. So then, the classic package just comes with this. And that's it. Right. So then where does the groom get ready? Just like they happen. either they either get a room with a groomsman behind the building. <laughs> 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 the groomsman yeah. in the car. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. Okay. <laughs> you know, it takes five minutes. You know, yeah. um, the groomsman either I'm sorry, the groom uh, gets with the groomsman, yeah. or um, by himself. Sometimes if they have a really small wedding party, uh, or with the parents. Okay. So, but I would say eight to nine times out of ten, they get the cabin yeah, behind yeah, this one. Got it. They get, yep, they get 17 right behind us. Okay. And uh, the, the whole not seeing each other on the wedding day thing, that's kind of, it's a very that's fluid sort of, sure, yeah. you know, they might, it's, it's more of a, well, let's not see each other before we're dressed. So, um, yeah. Okay. Uh, or wedding party. The parents usually get this one right here, 19? Usually. Okay. 15 sometimes because they want a little bit of fresh. Oh, I see. In. Um, and then the wedding party. The thing is, you never know if the wedding party is already coupled up. Oh, okay. So you kind of have to. 
This is 19. Same layout then, or floor plan? Yes. Okay. Yep. I don't know, it feels bigger. I don't know, maybe that's just me. Same thing, right? Oh. Yeah, but now you have two beds. Oh. So this one hasn't been used yet, so you have this. So we can actually um, role play this one. Water, water heater? Uh, yes. Water heater? Uh, yes. In that closet? There's a hot water heater back there. We can actually role play uh, you and Alex in this bed. And then we can do this. Okay. <laughs> 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 you didn't sound like a little bit. Come on now. Keyboard. <laughs> so. Alright. Guess we're buying it. <laughs> 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 you break it, you buy it. For the memories. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much the same setup. So this was the medium you have small and large. The larges are actually kind of cool because you never know those upstairs. We got the large upstairs. So still kind of cleaning up from the oh, ice storm we had. Luckily, what do people do here? Do they even utilize this space over here? So, <laughs> just have a little more trees. Uh -huh. Two weeks ago, um, most of it is dogs. Oh, dogs. Frankly. Okay. Um, dogs, and then uh, I don't know. They kind of do their own thing. You know what I mean? Mm. Trees and whatever. We. Large. How many tanks has the? There's two five hundred. Hey. And they get that service annually. And then the hall has its own tank. Oh, so the hall so has its own tank. Propane? No. Yeah. Or, no, no, oh, septic tank. Oh, okay. Yes, but there is propane. One here, Correct. one there. Oh, sorry, it runs on propane. Oh, wait, you switched on me. No, I know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I got distracted. It does have propane. Yes, propane, which is behind that fence, and yeah, we'll, we'll see here in a minute. Okay. Uh, and then there's one tank for the front. Um, and I never can't remember which one is the bigger one, but anyway. Um, and then, yes, but to answer the circle back around, yes, uh, the aerobic has two tanks on it, and then there's a tank for the, dedicated to the hall. So that makes sense, yeah. So the room's on the aerobic. And I'm not going to try to. <laughs> Propane wise, what is it is it water heater and anything else that runs off of it? Uh it's the water heater, the stoves. No, the stoves. The stoves looks electric electric, electric I thought, yeah. The, no, stoves, the stoves in the hall are, are electric. The oh. stoves in the uh, rooms are gas. Okay. No, the stoves and the water the heaters. Gas? And then what? Is it? Yeah, I cleaned up. Uh, I have not replaced those yet, so Oh that's true. Oh sorry. Okay. Oh yeah, they are gas. I, yeah. Yes. <laughs> all the stoves are propane. All the stoves are propane, okay. all the water heaters are propane, the larges are unpropane. Yes. The, the furnace. The furnace. The furnace. Okay. Oh, yeah, 24 and 25. Yes, my apologies. And then these are the smallest? These are the smallest. So the, the six of these here, and then there's another set of seven on the front. One of the ones on the front is the handicap accessible room. Um, these rooms come in, a, I think, three different styles. And um, these were up to. Uh, the ones we're going to see, one has two beds, like a traditional hotel room. One has a bed and a bunk bed. And then we have a king on the front. Is a very popular <laughs> in demand. Okay. So you'll see two different ones, same floor plan, two different ones here. This has the bunk bed. The one next door has two of the other queens. So this here does not have. This, the, the smalls are the only ones that don't have the stoves. Okay. So it has a little kitchen out. Yeah. It's kind of nice that it has this right up in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and I think, and I don't know if you mentioned to them too, so we've, and they're, they're aware of it, they've spoken about it, they just haven't had time, but theming it, theming it to the lake, to okay. right next to Fredericksburg, the wine country. I mean, there's just so many opportunities. Mm -hmm. And then partnering up with possibly somebody at the lake, at the marina, mm -hmm. for boats, for mm -hmm. the wedding parties Experience and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Which mm -hmm. they're not, which they're not doing. So there's opportunities. Yeah, what's, we do. What's that? That is the uh, antenna. antenna for the TVs, but they have this. Right here. 
your setup for your, you explained it. Yeah, it's just a digital antenna. Oh. Do you, uh, do you have level, level channels? Is it sure. Wi-Fi you've got on the front? What is the yes, one there's a router on the front yeah, and on the well. back. The one in the back is on the, right beside the fridge in the hall. Who's, who's this uh, internet provider? Uh, GVTC. GVTC, is, is that cable or is that? It's fiber, isn't it? It's fiber. Oh, fiber? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Will this be for the wedding? Or, I mean, I think just, 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 the wedding guests. just the wedding guests? Just a stand up shower, kind of tight. Um, mini split. And then closet, I'm assuming? Yeah, closet. So, I heard wedding parties. Uh, but the other thing they don't do, you, all the booking is done through Melissa, it's not done on the website. So, there's a missed opportunity there to book it online, to have the hospitality software put in place. She's not a doing. So she does everything by herself. Oh my God. There's, you, there's web pages. The web page is beautiful, but you yeah. cannot book online. You have to call her. Oh. So either she gets the calls. A lot of or work. Goes to the property manager. The property manager is only here till six. They do not have anything with Airbnb or um, yeah. VRBO or anything mm -hmm. like that. They do accept walk up. So if there's a wedding party here and, so, and they have vacant rooms, nobody knows. So if they walk up to the office and say, "Hey, do you have any vacancies?" Yes, you. Know, they can put them in. So there's there's missed. Revenue. Mm -hmm. it's good. I heard wedding parties, so I just wanted sure. to kind of toss that Absolutely. out there to let you know that there's yeah. you know, more to be had. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. With the correct input. I can't remember if it was on the um, PL, but do you know how much they're paying for like staff right now? That is on there? Um, I don't know off the top of my head. So they have two full timers that live on site, and part of the deal that they have is they have the largest unit, which we're not going to be able to see the inside of that one. Okay. If you're doing your due diligence, we can. Okay. Uh, the largest unit they live in, so the property manager and her wife are the two that work the property. Okay. Um, the property manager does, and you, they'll be able to better describe their individual jobs. Um, her wife is the one who cleans the room uh, contractually per room, and she has paid X amount of money per per room. That she cleans. Correct? Okay. And then they have a part timer, and then they're working it as well. Summertime, they obviously pick up part timers because it's real busy. Um, so I just wanted to give you that again because I heard it. Yeah. yeah. So ideally, one venue manager. Okay. One what? One, one venue manager. One venue manager. Mm -hmm. How Dale was talking about it is you have a potential of, I think there's six more tenants on that street. Yeah. I think just serving this one, offering it as a block to your wedding guests. Having this one already pretty much paid and reserved yeah. for the following year. Uh huh. And then opening that one up. For Airbnbs for and stuff. Mm -hmm. I think for Airbnb, like we're not going to be booking that far out in advance no. anyways. So it's that's like a, that's a cool we book a wedding it. a year in advance, yeah. we'll know how many rooms they're getting that's or not. Nice. And then it's like we open up the rest yeah. to Airbnb mm -hmm. and then cover mm -hmm. up as needed. But and it's like, I think, like for you, like, I mean, it's like, well, I actually, I have a question for you from yeah. the bridal suite. Yeah. Do we need a kitchen or do you no. just need a fridge? No, that's what I'm saying. And like a countertop or something, like next drinks or, or, or whatever. I was like, I don't know how much I can say. Like, <laughs> right. so that's what it's like. But it's like, rip that out, <clears throat> make so it really fucking nice inside. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, all the drywall, like, we can... So, for the bridal room... Put, like, you know, either a shiplap or, or, like, something, like, just, so you know, wood paneling, like, something to make it nicer. So, when um, um, we walk brides through the wedding babes, the mm -hmm. three most important things we them to get on that, because right now this is more like a budget thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you're wanting to multiply it and control for it, this is an eight thousand dollar venue. Mm -hmm. If you're supplying the value, as of now or no? Not as of now. Not not as of now. Because how much is it? Four thousand dollars. Okay. 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 For a three day. Yeah. yeah. So okay. that's why Crystal Logistics is like, okay, so um, she's the one that knows how to do all the math on cleaning yep. and hours and so yep. forth. So she's like, logistically, just with a team of two, they're able to. She's she's the cleaner team. Yes. Yeah. 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 Logistically, she's like, with two people, we're able to flip containers. Yeah. Um, the 25 minutes. But the bridal suite, no kitchen. Yeah. Men's, yeah. No bed. <laughs> yeah. Men's suite, you have to have a bar. <laughs> but like, we can make, like, honestly, like, the women's room, no kitchen, like, have a fridge, or whatever, like, we make it cute and really just picturesque, whatever. Mm -hmm. The men's room, oh, like, lean no. into, like, that one you need a like large TV. Well, like a guys, yeah, like a man cave. Like a man, man cave. Like, I love man, man cave. You might even be able to build, so like, 
my brother's venue. I saw it. The room it. suite, like, is basic stuff, right? Uh -huh. so my brother's been married for two, two weeks, and so his room suite was like super basic. The wine suite is like, yeah, Whoa, like yeah, works, yeah. right? So like, I was even thinking you could make one of those like back storage areas in the main venue, like the, the room suite. So you have another. Cabin. So it's the same exact plan, except this one has two beds instead of the bunk bed, and uh, Thomas made the headboards and they're attached to the wall. So the difference oh, between good job, Thomas. Is Look at that. That has the bunk bed for kids. So, and this is two okay. kids. Okay, so there's four. Four people. Four, four. So you just get rid of that all that like yeah. play area stuff? It, it, budget venues, they bring their kids. More top tier venues, they don't bring their kids. <laughs> does this area support another yes. top end mm -hmm. area? Mm -hmm. It does. Amazing. Definitely. Absolutely. Okay. Because you're within... Well, Texas is number two in the nation. Mm -hmm. for right. Central Texas is number one. Well, would that hurt the uh, Kinsey? Uh, no. She actually just, she left. So if we can, instead of walking, yeah, yeah. yeah. okay. right. it's a lot. Oh, that's fine, Yeah. <laughs> yeah, is it is Storage. Yeah, that's impressive. She was quick. You're quick. Oh, these are the chairs. Wow. Great Upgraded chairs. Good. That looks really good. So all this was on there. Nice. So this was open. Um, so the elements, it's been obviously closed in, and there's additional storage here. The rack that they just, this, Thomas just put this up, and there, an hour and a half ago. <laughs> it wasn't that long. <laughs> Can you build this for like a um, area to take pictures again, or just keep it as storage? Storage. Storage. Okay. There's still lots of storage here. They still start like performing well. Yeah. Yeah. You hear everyone talking about the smoke system. Yeah. I mean, like Jerry. So I kind of want to. If you guys don't mind, take a quick look here. We'll move on here because she may be coming back. That's one of the propane tanks. Just additional land on the side there. There's still a lot of storage here too. Yeah, there is. Wow. Even over here. I'm I wish I had this kind of ring for my storage. <laughs> <laughs> I got two cars in the garage. I can't even get out of the room. I got two on there. I'm just going to be sending it. Yeah, cool. Pretty much time getting everything, pretty much everything here. There's lots of storage. Yeah. Uh, that tractor is not mine. It's my brother in law's. Uh, I don't want the poncho. <laughs> See, there's there's storage here, right? I, mean, I know. So yeah, honestly, maybe we could do something cool be, with that. Yes, definitely. Like a game room, or that could be the grooms. Oh, that could be the groomsmen. Yeah, the groomsmen turned into like a game. pool table. Yeah. Someone else had mentioned real quick too. You know where the picnic tables are? Mm -hmm. Someone earlier today mentioned closing that in and making that additional storage yeah. space. I don't know if you guys thought about that as well. But you know, each to each his own. My thing with that is it becomes an L. So yeah. maybe you do the entertainment over there, like a DJ or music or something, yeah. and put the dance hall. There's just so many L's There's so many, yeah. There's so many L's already. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're going to head over to the front now. Hammock, okay, that's the fire pit. Get some games over here. Um, Hangout area? Yeah, possibly underutilized. <laughs> yeah. You guys are new. This whole thing here is all residential. This loop thing is all residential. So the cool thing about this space 
Food trucks? Food trucks? Yes. So you actually, um, instead of them utilizing the kitchen, you just have them park right, right here. Mm-hmm. And instead of you having the line within the menu, you actually have them line here. Oh, that's a great idea. And the food trucks are high end. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I'm a foodie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do people use the pool for the wedding venue? I mean, or is it just for pictures or? Or it's more it's for the Airbnb. A cocktail, a cocktail hour out here. But you can make this a very nice. Are we able to go in? Or no? Uh, no, we're I think it's locked. Oh, we're over here. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, it's Usually locked. don't open it on the hidden side. Yes. <laughs> to each his own. That's right. If you block this off, you can make this as the cocktail area. Oh, okay. For the guests to come in when they're trying to wrap up that inside. Uh, and you so, can make this pool area way more photo. Yes. Oh yeah. Yes. And, and not in like not even that chain crazy. Chain like the chain that's link. That's the first thing we saw. Like, that's yeah. the first and thing we said. The chain because, link. Because uh, one of my uh, vendors, they actually have a runway. Uh, a runway. Runway over the pool. Uh, oh, so, oh, they, so over. Yeah, over the pool. So it becomes a photo shoot. Ah. Uh, so the wedding party or the wedding visitors, they actually have a runway that they can go over the pool. They can have a little bit of photos. So then you direct them over here for cocktail hour. Okay. And then you have your food truck and your mobile bar. That way they're able to uh, mingle a little bit yeah. while they're getting everything finished and set up and pictures taken and so forth. Do the food trucks just come or would you like contract with one and be like, hey, so we're going to be here? So normally I have three um, uh, food trucks on the vendor list, on the preferred vendor list. Okay. Um, and then they just they just park and make it all nice and pretty. Yeah. It's Sounds like a good business. Because yeah. <laughs> people are starving. And- <laughs> Oh, valet so service. They would come here, have a golf cart, take them out to the venue, uh, and then that person would make sure that the vehicles are being placed where they need to be. So pretty much that's your property line. They were actually going to build a wall, just like a retaining wall here, and they decided against it. But that's the property line, and it goes down to that pole. That red pole? No. Oh, the, oh all the way down there. Okay. So and you can see, the if you look at the cement wall, they there's a oh. wall down there. So that's the property. It goes to that power pole and then up the fence line, all the way around back to where we were with the work area okay wrapped around to this corner and then it's this track over here as well is this the same lot or are you just selling both of them like together because there's two different averages the road. okay so the road is county road okay so they are, and they do have two separate tax ID numbers. okay so, it's two separate. so the gentleman that originally owned this and built this did so and then this came available and he bought it he bought it and okay it was something completely different correct unless it was like something yeah, I'm, I'm not 100 sure what was that there was only one thing so i'm assuming it was a house probably yeah. somebody's home Okay. Uh, so they could park here too, right? They like do. additional they park parking. On the and they work here. Okay. Um, yeah. no, 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 yeah. so on the side of the street. Yeah. Sorry. Yes. Yeah, because it'll go all the way, and then there's two paths, which I don't know if you'll find out. There's two paths that come through. Two stories. Two stories. Alright, let's take a look. Alright, this is unit nine. Let's check it out. I'm gonna close this door because there's a bedroom behind here. Okay. Ah, so I'll take up floors. <laughs> oh, bro. Oh, that is very yes. No, my, my, our newest house that we bought has some teal floors and it's my freedom house. Um, so around the corner is the bedroom with its own, ba- with its own bathroom and then the second bathroom. So this is the only unit that has two bathrooms. Okay. And then, as he said, the upstairs. Um, with a bunk and then this third bed and then these were sold out. Uh, all of them have the same format, more plan, just different decor. This is the bedroom over here? Yes. Okay. Oh shit. So. You have the shower and then the, the toilet separate? Yeah. Nope, the same goes together. Oh. Small. Small um, bathroom. Uh, would this this do well as a short term rental? I mean, or are you still marketing it to the um, wedding venue? So when we have a wedding party coming in and then they book it, we're uh-huh. like, okay, we have twenty rooms available. You have three months to book them. Uh huh. Um, we'll block them off for let's say X amount of time. Yeah, yeah. For that particular date, if not, they code. Uh huh. Right. Okay. But this would need to work too. Yeah. 
Then what? People. There's like two. Oh. Two footballs, so that's six. Another black queen or four or whatever, so that's eight. And then, and then bumping. Mm. Oh, it's a tiny yeah. You only have two, well, two bathrooms. I'm sorry. No, no, you're okay. Mm -hmm. You went upstairs already? The steps are a little high. I'm sorry? The steps are a little high. Ruby's got it. Okay, so work out. Stair stepper. Oh. You weren't joking. It's like your cabin, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I know, no kidding. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is tight. Again, we can both play? Yeah. Two in there. We would just have one bed, right? One king or something like that? Or, or a low platform bed? Well, you could also do like, different, different setups and different units. Oh, yeah. AB test it. Yeah. No, but you, th this is your A frame, Josh. Yeah. This is very soft. <laughs> you don't love it, yeah. No, no, but you could, like, you could, you could do something really cool. Yeah. Four. Maybe six. Yeah. Yeah. Two in one bed here, two in one bed down there, or if you did want two yeah. four twins, whatever, yeah. but like... Yeah, yeah, you could do two four. But I think I would push for one bed. One bed. One bed. Mm -hmm. yeah, so. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I agree. Yep. I agree with that, too. Oh. Or like, like set a combination with the other... There's sure. four of them. Exactly. There's four big ones, right? we got to put a slide to go down. <laughs> I was fireball. thinking. Yeah, it's a fire pole. Oh, it would book. See? <laughs> <laughs> well, I am short, so it doesn't help that. That's why I wore heels because it's not even looking down. I think. An Airbnb. So this is office. We probably don't need it. Let's check it out. Yeah. I've never had a separate office for. We could block this off and it'd be the llama stay. Yeah. Llama. With llama the, stay. Yep. Yes. And then you can, I can bring the yoga people so they can do their BS or whatever. They <laughs> just pay me. <laughs> but it's a cool space. This no, is a cool, like every cabin would have a view of. The llamas. Yeah. And, the and then the wedding people could come here, yes. like yeah. after. Speckled. For. But I honestly don't think you need. So it would be just be another large. Unless that's where the laundry is. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. Hey! Oh my gosh! Oh. No, no, he's, he's just, he wants pets. He, wants he just pets. wants pets. Oh, he, he wants pets. doesn't sound like it, but he, yeah, he, he just wants you to love pets. <laughs> he just, he's, yeah, he will. Constantly hey! Away. They don't always come back to the real ones. Wow. So, your office, is that your, where your property Stop. manager is currently living? So the office is just the front part, and I'll take you in there. Okay, um, not a problem. The office is the front part, and then there's a, there is a door that connects to their apartment. Uh, uh, oh, so their apartment is located in this. Specific. Technically, it's, it's, they're separate but together. All right, Crystal. So you give this is like yours. This yeah. Yeah. So yeah. All right. Yeah. 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 She's got air Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, like the the that one actually, my plan is to replace that one. This one right here? No, oh, okay. Um, so those are all like. This is why I need to See, these are electric and those are propane. I think that's. It is their apartment the same size as the other apartments, or is it larger? It's bigger. It's bigger. Okay. It is a two bedroom, two bath, has oh. upstairs loft, and then has a full wow. size living room and kitchen. That just opens up another. And this is back here. That's where they're. Yeah, that's I see. So 
Okay. Okay. Uh, did she really see them? She said, oh, they were just... Oh, she's joking. I think she's joking. And this is... This used to be coin operator. So this is where she takes when she's talking to a wedding party. She takes them in here to do the paperwork and oh, yeah. the deal. Yeah, good job. So they put a bathroom in and this is just a little sign here. So this is, you can do a lot with this room. Somebody had a good Somebody had an idea. You don't need to. Well, you know, you can do the little sofa. Oh, they said something? Yeah, Somebody had an idea for the coffee, a little coffee area, but somebody had a fantastic idea for this room. I was thinking like a, like a small game room, but it might be too small for that. Or you could just make it a unit. You can make it a unit. The tiny. Is it a half bed? Uh, yeah. just a little bit. Yeah, so Thomas added, added the bathroom for me. <laughs> this is this mm -hmm. your room? Uh-huh. So they're separate? Yeah, they're separate. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, and they like, in terms of what I do, they like to see the pictures. 